crowded, noisy, competitive, social media is a very challenging channel for the marketer. One effective strategy is to upgrade the format of your posts from text, kind of weak, to images, much, much better, to video, the ultimate format for content and social media. Super powerful, very effective. My name is Andy from Orbit Media Studios. We're a web design company here in Chicago. I've been shooting and promoting and measuring social media videos for years, and this video is gonna show you step-by-step, step, walking you through the entire process for creating, editing, publishing, and promoting social media videos to get better results for you as a marketer. In this process, I'm going to show you first the desk, the setup, the camera, the mic, all the things, all the stuff that goes, in, goes with it, the tools for editing and adding captions, a breakdown of time, minute by minute, how to make these social media videos, and then how to publish, how to promote, and finally measurement, how to add the campaign tracking code and see what works so you can get better on the next one. Ready? Let's jump in. Let's look at some desks. These are desks of pro marketers, legit social media experts. And you're gonna see one thing on each of these desks. That's Jay Bear. He's using a camera, not a webcam, a camera. This is Katie Martell. She's using a camera, an actual DSLR camera. This is Joe Cox from the Pop Marketing Podcast. He's got a camera. This is Rand Fishkin, who's using a DSLR camera. This is Robert Rose, who's got a DSLR camera. All of these pro YouTubers, camera. Tamson Webster's got a camera. Okay, Drew Davis, he's got a video production studio. Set Drew aside. Your setup may look a bit more like D Fish, my buddy D Fish, who's like literally making the stuff in his living room, but he still has an actual camera. And some baby toys on the floor. The difference is huge to compare. Webcam, it has no lens. Everything is in focus. It's not high quality, even with light, compared to the right. That's a DSLR camera. It's got a lens. It's a piece of glass. It's got focus. You can. That's where the background looks soft. The light looks better. You just look way better. So break it down. Here's my desk where you're going to make some awesome social media videos. Might look something like this. That's literally where I'm sitting right now. I'm going to call out all the equipment. I've got the, the light and the camera. Looking through that camera right now. Acoustic tiles make a big difference. The mic is on a boom, quite handy. Here you go. The camera actually has to connect through this tiny piece of hardware called a cam link. It's just this thing that tells the computer that that camera is actually not just a camera. It's a web, you can use it as a webcam. And I'm gonna use Camtasia as my software to record and edit. Hey, Andy, isn't that expensive? These are the prices for everything. Now you know. That's, uh, I added it up, it's like 1300 bucks worth of stuff. This, I added one piece at a time over several years, so you don't have to do, do all that at once but the difference with the camera is pretty huge. So that's the big downstroke. It's more expensive, it makes a difference. Turn on the record, hit the record button and start recording. I'm gonna stare at the camera until I finally start smiling. It usually takes me a second. Uh, and then I'm just gonna introduce myself. We're making a one minute content promotion video, introducing myself, gonna post this on social media and then tell the visitor what I'm doing, right? Tell the viewer what I'm doing here. After that, I'm gonna summarize the article. That's gonna be the, the meat of this video. It's gonna take, uh, couple of seconds here to describe, give them a reason to click, what are the benefits to them. The CTA, tell them how to get the, you know, suggest that they click, ask for the click. If you want the traffic, ask for the click. And then finally, real quick, just thank them for watching. Now, in this, I, I recorded it all using Camtasia made by TechSmith. It's simple software. This is going to be used for, it's like iMovie on steroids. Not that complicated. Much, much easier than all the Adobe software. Uh, as, as you saw a second ago, it's a couple hundred bucks. So it's got tracks below. I'm gonna now, and you can do basic editing, just cut wherever the playhead is and remove stuff, shuffle it around, apply basic transitions. But I wanna add captions because the captions are the key difference between good and great social media videos. To do that, I just select the audio track, go up to modify, click add captions, and then choose a segment. It plays it for me. I'm going to type Whatever I hear playing, I know that there's apps that'll do this for you. I'm gonna do it manually. I like to control it. It only takes, it doesn't take tons of time, but I'm basically typing in manually adding captions because that's gonna make the big difference. We're trying to make a thumb stopper. We're trying to make a video that slows them down and social media videos do not play the sound by default. This is, I'm gonna make a better video that, that the person can get value from, understand, they hear the reason to click, they hear the summary, um, or rather they see it even if their sound is off. Okay, we've got the video, it's on our desktop. Go to the social media platform, upload the video, and then construct around it a masterpiece of a social media post. What the video is gonna look like with the captions is something like this. You can hear me talking, but even if you didn't play that, you can see the text. 
uh, as the caption. So that's going to make a huge difference. But there's a lot of other stuff happening on this. I want to I want to walk through all the things that go into this uh, social post. First of all, it's got the headline plus a secondary headline. You've got plenty of space. Make sure to add the benefit, the reason to click. Be very explicit. Specificity correlates with conversion. Never miss the chance to add a number. Not just because numerals are more prominent than letters in a line of text, but because the number indicates that the value that the value is likely easy to get from the post, right? If it's a if it's a numbered list, it means that there's a bunch of stuff here. You might scan through. There's some you like, some you don't. That you're likely to get value, and that it's going to be highly scannable, accessible, easy to consume. Hashtags. Don't overdo it on LinkedIn. Instagram, for some reason, people put in like hundreds of hashtags, and I guess that works over there. Line breaks, add white space, make it easier, right? If the person expands, now you've got like a mini blog post in there, right? Open it up. Mentions of other people, critical. Make sure that you mention other people. It's one of the benefits of creating collaborative content where you can contributor quotes from experts to include in the piece that you've made. Then you can mention them when you share it on social media. Since they've been invested in it, they're very likely to share it. That's me sharing it up at the top of the post here, the people that were contributors to this post. And also, since I made this video after the piece had been live for a few days, I went to check who to see who had shared it on social media already. And in the first comment, I thanked the people who commented and shared. Little bonus trick in there. That's called ego bait sometimes, right? When you um, mention people in the thing to try to get their attention and get them to share it. An ally in creating content is an ally in promoting content. Then we're going to add the video with captions, which we already just saw. And finally, the link with the campaign tracking code. I want to add Google Analytics campaign tracking code, add it through a URL builder. These UTM tracking codes get appended to the end of the link so that when someone clicks, I get the, the data about what happened after that, right? What happened on the website. There are lots and lots of social media metrics. There's shares, there's likes, there's comments, there's click through rate, there's all these different things. But what happens after they click? You don't know unless you add campaign tracking code, which is like the bit of duct tape that connects the uh, the, the social media metrics to the website metrics, right? So how many visits actually were recorded? Bounce rate, time on page, the conversion rate. To add campaign tracking code, you need to use URL builder. We've got one on our site. I'll add the link in the description and also in the article. But basically you're just taking the, the, the web address that you're promoting, right? The URL up there at the top and then adding a source. In this case, I added newsletter and it appends to the end of the link, UTM source equals newsletter. A medium, which for a social post would be social, but in this case it's email. Medium is the broader origin of traffic. Source is the specific origin of traffic. And finally, the campaign name, name, name it whatever you want. That's, the, that's literally the words that, or letters that will appear inside Google Analytics in the campaign report, which looks like this. So when you go to the all campaigns report, it's going to show you everything that you ever added campaign tracking code and got clicked. It will override all the other information that Google Analytics would have normally used to attribute this visitor. Instead, it's going to take just the source medium and campaign name that you added through the URL builder. So literally, I can see everything, all the channels, everything that I did to drive promotion, right? And in this case, like LinkedIn might be the one that was the social media video. Not just the number of views and, and, and you know page views and users, but attribution for conversion, right? I can see how many people subscribed from each of those. One promotion trick that I highly recommend is after you make the post is to share it internally with, with uh, allies or coworkers or people on your team who can engage with it quickly. In LinkedIn, that's a matter of clicking those three dots and finding the, the link to the specific URL. In Twitter, you just click on the post and you can grab the URL out of the address bar. Once you have that, then go share it on Slack, go share it in Google Chat, go share it in your WhatsApp group or wherever, right? Your, your internal intranet. Uh, email it to some, some people close by uh, because when they share it, it triggers the algorithm to show that post to many, many more people. Remember back in the day when marketing was just about making ads? Don Draper creates a you know, Mad Men era, creates a, uh, an advertisement and that drives demand for the business. Now we create content that drives demand for the business, but we have to also, of course, promote that content. So now we're promoting the content that promotes the business. And when the promotion is actually a social media video to promote an article to promote the business, what I'm telling you now sounds super weird. It actually works extremely well. How to promote the video that promotes the article that promotes the business. This is exactly how it's working. You were trying to get anyone you know to, to engage with this, con this social media post quickly so that the social media network decides, hiya, this is highly engaging content, and they show it to an exponentially larger audience. Uh, we're trying to trigger an algorithm to increase 
uh, organic reach within social media. The results are amazing. <laughs> Actually, they're they're it's uh, super powerful. Uh, that I know I have attribution because I added the campaign tracking code, and on this post I got hundreds of visits and a subscriber, and it got traffic for like a week. Who said social posts only last for a day? This one had hundreds of visitors, three subscribers, had some kind of two-week lifespan. This third example, literally 1,200 visitors from one social media post, more than a dozen subscribers. It had this long life online. Uh, so even though these posts are taking me 10 times the effort to create, might be 20 minutes for me to make one of these social media videos uh, instead of two minutes to make a social media post, but the value isn't 10x, it's 100x, right? This is like way, way greater reach than I would ever have normally gotten from a normal social media post. Now, if you say, Andy, of course that's working for you because you've got an engaged audience on LinkedIn, anybody can have an engaged audience on LinkedIn. Here are my rules for LinkedIn, I encourage you to steal them. You get an invitation from someone in your industry, I recommend that you connect with anybody in your industry. You get an invitation from someone in your geography, your city, I recommend that you accept all invitations from people in your city. That's gonna, because LinkedIn isn't just an online resume. LinkedIn is a platform for promoting content. It has been for a decade. Now, there are three types of social media posts in case it wasn't obvious. One is self-promotion, sharing your content, right? Stuff you created, drive traffic to it. And that is uh, very powerful and the social media video is probably the best way to do that, hands down. Certainly the best that I've ever discovered. But I don't wanna suggest that social media is just a place to dump links on the internet. Please remember, there are other types of social media posts. We should be sharing content from other people. We should be curating, right? It's not just about the stuff we created, but it's about stuff that we curate and about the conversation. Three types of posts, creation, curation, and conversation. It's the curation and conversation where you really help build out your network, where you engage, where you make friends. You can meet you know, influencers you can collaborate with later. You can do good networking. You can be a good internet citizen. So yes, yes, when you promote content on social media, I recommend using a video, but don't just use social media as a content promotion platform. Be social, it's fun. That's it, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. And if you know someone struggling to do better social media videos, we'd be grateful if you pass this along. Uh, we made a video about tracking social media traffic. If you're interested in just using Google Analytics to track traffic from social media, uh, you can find that link and a few other fun resources in the description of this video, also on the Orbit Media blog. Thanks again. See you next time.